Hi everyone and welcome. In this video we are going to create and configure a standard vSwitch in vSphere. As you can see I'm already logged on to vCenter server and we will start here configuring the switch on our first host. Select the host, select configure, I'm going to select virtual switches. We can see that we have one virtual switch that's already created. This is the one that got created when we installed ESXi. Going to click Add Networking. We're going to create a virtual machine port group. Second option. And in this case, we're going to create a new standard switch. We're going to assign an uplink in this particular case. I will add an adapter. This is going to be VMNIC1. We have to give it a name, which is going to be production. In this case, we're not assigning a VLAN, so we can leave that at zero. And finish and that's all we have to do. So there's now, you can see down here at the bottom, vSwitch1, I'll select that. We can see its name is production and it has one uplink, which will allow us to communicate off of the switch to the outside world from vSphere's perspective. We would have to do this on each of our hosts. So I would also have to do this on ESXi2 so that we can connect VMs to both of those. Right now, there are no virtual machines connected to our new switch. I'm going to right click on one of our VMs and select Edit Settings. My network adapter in the drop down, I'm going to browse and select Production, which is our new vSwitch. Say OK and OK. And this guy is now going to be changed. We can see here that. It says there's now one virtual machine. If I expand that out, here is my uh, VM that I just connected over. I'm going to power this guy up and make sure that we're not going to have any problems communicating on that network. We, of course, will have to change all of the virtual machines that we want to be over on this new vSwitch. Select the VM, and I'm going to open a console. We'll give this a sec to finish booting up. Okay, that's now booted up. I'll just log into this. And once we're logged in, we will make sure we can ping our default gateway. And all good. That is all there is to creating a standard switch and attaching some virtual machines to that. That's a wrap for the video. Hopefully this has been helpful for you and we'll see you next time.